Hey, what's up everyone? Eddie Martinez here and welcome back to the social media series. Now, in this video, we're going to be taking a first hand look at the new MySpace app on iOS. Now, I know there's going to be some differences between the iOS version and the Android version, but for the most part, they're pretty much the same. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is go to the App Store and of course download it. So I already did a search earlier, as you can see right here. Uh, all I need to do is uh, open it since I already downloaded it earlier. So right now we're looking at the, uh, I guess, the, the login page. So all we need to do is just sign in. Awesome. So what we're looking at right now is something called the stream. Now what the stream is, is basically like the feed on Facebook. So here you're going to be able to view all the new photos, new comments, and things like that, that you and of course the people that you connected to are posting. So let's take a look. So you can see there's photos and uh, we have just uh, different activities from, you know, going on from different users here. Awesome. Now another thing you might notice is this down here, uh, this little plus symbol with a circle around it. Essentially what this is, it, it allows you to go ahead and get to your music, so to your radio stations. Not only just yours, you can create one or you can go ahead and uh, listen to what other users are making uh, with the radio station. So let's check it out. There we are. So by moving that up, you're able to access uh, your radio player. So you can either build your own station, as I mentioned before, or listen to uh, a genre radio station. So this could be uh, made by other users or sponsors or something like that. Let's go to move this back down. Now, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but when I touched the, the center of that plus sign, I got a few different options there. So let's go ahead and check them out. The first one we have on the left is our our posting so we can go ahead and, and add to our feed and we can even decide if we want to go ahead and include our uh, post to Facebook and Twitter. Let's go ahead and cancel for right now. Awesome. The next thing we have in the center is GIF. So we can go ahead and create a GIF. Essentially what a GIF is it allows you to stitch several photos together to create a moving image. And then finally what we have is a photo so if we want to go ahead and uh, take a photo we can go ahead and take a photo of uh, whatever we're looking at right now. Pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this area right here. Essentially if we swipe to the side we can go ahead and view things like our own profile. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And essentially our profile is going to look exactly like our desktop version just a little bit more condensed so a little bit more squished together if anything. Uh, so as you can see this is the photo that we added recently or the photos we added recently and we can see uh, what connections we've made recently. Let's go ahead and go back. Uh, we could even view some of our posts and and things like that so any any anything going on with our own personal page. Let's go, go ahead and go back. Uh, and the other thing that we've seen already was a stream so we've already seen this page already what people are posting. Let's go back. Next what we have is our notification. So our notifications are going to be anything like uh, people posting comments to us or messages or anything like that. That'll all show up right here in the notification area. You have different um, I guess categories as well so just general and uh, people connections as well. So you can choose from those two options. Let's go ahead and, go ahead and move back. Now what we're looking at is messages. So if I was messaging back and forth with people, you would see that there. Uh, so I haven't done any of that just yet. Another area that we have right below that is something called discover. So we can go ahead and find new people to add. And again, it's kind of like the, the desktop app where you're able to categorize how you want to find people. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. And I could start finding people right away. Uh, what's great about how they set this up is that you could see right here at the top how they put how close they are to you if you're connected with them already, what type of profile they have, which is a, a fan, and also you could see what they have uh, going on on their, I guess, their background. 
So if we would click on this person's page to view their profile, we'll see that she has the Michael Jackson background. Okay, let's go ahead and go back. Next thing what we have here is our radio. So from here we can choose from different stations if we wanted to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and select this uh, Ellie Goulding right here. And of course I can uh, connect with her. And I can also check out what music she's listening to by hitting this button right here at the very top. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, pause it because I don't, I don't want there to be any lag. So let's go ahead and go back. And then the final thing that we have down here are our settings where you can go ahead and control whether you want your post to go to uh, other social, net, social networks like Twitter or Facebook uh, to uh, decide whether you want your audios to be public or private, other support for privacy in terms of service. You also get this really cool uh, option to take a welcome tour. So essentially, if you forgot what one of these options were, the ones that I just showed you, you can go ahead and take the welcome tour. And of course, sign out. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so that's been the first hand look at the new MySpace app for iOS. So if you guys liked it, of course, download it and uh, start connecting with people. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button on the bottom left hand side of the screen. And of course, check out the recordingconnection.com for more information like this. I'll check you guys out later. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finances a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.